Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners on how to enter bills already paid. Okay, so the situation sometimes comes up where you want to go in and enter a bill to get it in the correct time period, but you've actually already paid it and you already entered it in QuickBooks. I want to walk you through this process so you can go back and enter that bill and then apply that payment to the bill that you just entered. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Hey, head on over to the QuickBooks University. That website is qbuniversity.org. Got full training there. I also answer your personal questions when you do become a member of the QuickBooks University. Also, you can sign up for a three video mini course to show you the top mistakes most people make in QuickBooks. Head over there now. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Would love to have you so you can get notified every time I come out with a new video. Okay, so let's get to this here. So we've got the home screen here and I'm gonna show you uh, in the checking account, what I've done is I have set up a payment to Maureen Lynn Fay for 1200 bucks. Okay, so you can see here, it just goes straight to the account. So these were accounting fees, professional fees that we had. Now, we recorded this on 1-17-2024, so this was the date we paid it. Now, if it was for services that were actually in December 2023, we want to make sure that that expense is in the right time period. Otherwise, we're going to, I don't want to say mess up our financial statements, but our profit and loss will be a little bit off because those services related to December 2023, but now we've got it showing as an expense in January 2024. So we get this bill and we want to go back and enter it and then apply this payment to that bill. So I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so the first thing you're going to do you're going to go up to vendors and you're going to go to enter bills. So we want to enter this bill from Maureen Lynn Fay CPA. And we're going to say that the date on the bill. So if you've seen my videos on entering bills, you want to make sure that you enter the date of the bill, 12, 15, 2023. And we're going to say this was five, four, eight, seven, nine bill number. So that was her invoice number that she sent to us. And we're going to put in the amount, $1,200. Okay, the due date is 1-14-2024. And it goes to professional fees accounting. All right, so if I save this now, if I say save and close, we're going to skip the class tracking. Right now, I've got a bill in there showing an expense. And I've also got this check that was written, check 491, for professional fees accounting. So in effect, I am doubling this expense. One was paid and one was not. So we have to make sure that we fix this. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to your check register, you're gonna find the check that you wrote. So we're gonna go to this Maureen Lynn Fay check, and we're going to change this, the account from accounting, we're gonna change to accounts payable. Now, the reason for that is every time you enter a bill in QuickBooks, it puts it to the expense and then puts it to accounts payable. And so by doing this, changing it to accounts payable, we're taking it out of the professional fees expense. So now we only have one expense, which is the bill, and we're applying it to accounts payable. This is going to create a credit on the account for Maureen Lynn Fay CPA. All right, now we change this to accounts payable. We hit save, we say yes. Uh, please choose a vendor and when we're choosing. So we want to go ahead and edit the check. And let's see, we want to go ahead and put Maureen Lynn CPA. And so it sounds a little odd putting it here as a customer, but we want to make sure we do that so that it applies it to that accounts payable. So, all right, so save and close. You've changed it. Yes, we don't have the class. That's okay. All right, so now by doing that, that's going to associate it with Maureen Lynn Fay CPA. If we go back to vendors, so that's step one. Step two, go back to pay bills. And we want to see this bill here. So if we check off Maureen Lynn CPA, we're going to see that we now have a credit for $1,200. And that credit came about by changing in the register that check to go to accounts payable instead of professional fees. So we want to set the credit and it's going to check it off automatically, 1200 bucks, amount to use, credit balance zero. We click done, and it's going to show that amount to pay is zero, and we say pay selected bills. So now what we have done, we're going to click done here. Now that we've, we have done that, what we have done is we have 
entered the bill, put it in the correct time period, which was December 2023, applied the check that was written to that bill to offset it, which created a credit, then you have to go apply that credit to the bill and it clears it out of the system. All right. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, I encourage you head over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org to get started today on the course.